Lani, nasagot mo na ba yung module mo sa math? Oh, no! Hindi pa, ate. Teka, ba't parang takot na takot ka? Bakit kasi ang hirap? <laughs> Patingin nga. Hello mga moms, hello mga students, and hello mga kabibes! It's me, Teacher M, and welcome to my channel! Balita ko, kinakatakutan niyo daw ang fractions. So well, it's about time to face your fear. Harapin natin ang takot niyo pagdating sa fractions. So ready na ba kayo? So kung ready na kayo, tara! Let's begin! So, so, for this video, ang pag-uusapan muna natin ay tungkol sa addition and subtraction of similar fractions. So, ito yung mga halimbawa ng similar fractions. From the word itself, similar. So, kapag pare-pareho ang denominator, ibig sabihin yun ay similar fractions. So, to add or subtract similar fractions, we have example number 1. Find the sum. Doon muna tayo sa addition. 4 over 9 plus 5 over 9, 4 plus 5 over 9. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung numerator, yung 4 and 5, pinag-add lang natin because the operation here is addition. So, the sum is 9. Then, we will just copy the same denominator. That's why we have 9 over 9. And we can simplify this. Hindi pa ito yung final answer kasi pwede pa natin itong simplify By dividing, we divide 9 by 9. So, ilang 9 meron sa 9? So, the answer is 1. 1 whole. Diba? Ganun lang kadali. How about 5 over 8? And 1 over 8. What will be the sum? So again, just add the numerators. Then copy the denominator. 8. 5 plus 1 equals 6 over 8. And again, we need to simplify this to get its lowest term. So, paano natin isi-simplify yung 6 over 8? Okay. Mag-isip tayo ng prime numbers na kapag minultiply natin, ito, magiging sagot ay 6. So, we have 2 and 3. So, 2 times 3 equals 6. And also, 8. 2 times 4 is 8. But 4 is not a prime number. Ha, kailangan pa natin kunin yung factors ng 4. At yun ay 2 times 2. So, we have 2 times 2 times 2. And therefore, kung ano yung common dun sa both numbers, yun yung magiging greatest common factor or also known as the GCF So, meron pang other method para makuha yung GCF nung dalawang numbers at ito yon. Mag-iisip ka ng dalawang number na kapag minultiply ito, magiging sagot ay yung number na hinahanap So, dito, 6 yung hinahanap Kaya, we have 1 times 6 So, we have factors 1 and 6 and another, 2 times 3 is 6. So, 2 times 3 or 3 times 2. So, these are the factors of 6. At sa 8 naman, factors of 8, 1 times 8, so we have 1 and 8, and 2 times 4 is 8. So, we have 1, 2, 4, and 8. Ibig sabihin, so the GCF is 2. So, mamili na lang kayo kung ano yung way na, kung ano yung mas madali para sa inyo, kung yung una o yung pangalawa. It's up to you. Dahil nga 2 yung GCF, kailangan natin i-divide yung fraction 6 over 8 by 2 over 2. 
So, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, therefore, 3 over 4 is the sum of 5 over 8 and 1 over 8. How about 2 over 4 plus 3 over 4? Again, add 2 plus 3 is 5 and copy the denominator 4. So, ano yung papansin nyo dun sa ating naging sagot? Yes, it is an improper fraction. When you say improper, mas mataas yung numerator kesa dun sa denominator. Pwede natin sulat yung sagot in mixed number. Ilang 4 meron sa 5? So, merong 1 whole. Then, ilan yung sumobra dun sa 5? So, 5 minus 4 is 1. So, meron sumobra na 1 fourth. Okay. That's why in mixed number, it is written as 1 and 1 over 4. So, ganun lang yung gagawin nyo kapag naka-improper fraction yung nakuha nyo sagot. So, isusulat nyo lang in mixed number. So, paano naman kapag ang given ay in mixed number? Pero, similar fractions. We need to change the mixed number into improper fraction. So, dito muna tayo sa unang fraction. So, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1. Then, copy the denominator. 4 plus 1 equals 5. So, 5 over 2. Then, copy the operation, addition. Then, proceed to the second fraction. 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 over 2. So, 2 plus 1 equals 3. So, we have 3 over 2. Kung na-change na natin into improper fractions, yung given na uh, mixed number, we can now proceed to the operation. So, same lang dun sa una natin ginawa. We will just add 5 and 3. So, 5 plus 3 equals 8. 8 over 2. Ngayon, to simplify, 8 divided by 2 is 4. And that will be the final answer. Pero meron pa tayong isang paraan para masagutan din natin yan buko dun sa pag-change into improper fraction. So, pwede rin natin gawin using another way or method. Okay. So, iset aside natin. Unahin na natin yung whole numbers. So, 2 plus 1. Okay, 2 plus 1 ay equals 3. Ngayon, proceed na tayo dun sa fractions. 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is 1 plus 1 equals 2. So, we have 2 over 2. At alam niyo naman, kapag fraction at pareho yung numerator and denominator, obviously, the answer will be 1. I-add lang natin yung nakuha nating sagot dun sa fractions. And it is 1. So, 3 plus 1 equals 4. And we arrived with the same answer. Okay. Let's proceed now to subtraction. 10 over 27 minus 4 over 27. So, ganun lang. So, ganun pa rin. Nabago lang yung operation. So, kanina, sum, addition. So, ngayon naman ay subtraction. So, gagawin natin minus. 10 minus 4 over 27. So, it is 6 over 27. So, yan na ba yung final answer? Let's check the GCF. So, same dun sa kanina. Greatest common factor is 3. Or the GCF is 3. And using the other method, so we have 1 times 6, 2 times 3. So 1, 2, 3, and 6. And 27, 1 times 27, 3 times 9. Okay, so we have 1, 3, 9, and 27. And obviously, the GCF is 3. So, 
we need to divide 6 over 27 by 3 over 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 27 divided by 3 is 9. Another example. 22 over 33 minus 6 over 33 minus 5 over 33. Paano kung tatlo yung given fractions? Pwede ba natin isolve agad-agad? Pwede. So, 22 minus 6 minus 5 over 33. And the difference, 11 over 33. And it is not yet simplified. So, kailangan natin i-divide sa kanilang GCF. So, walang ibang GCF ang 11 and 33 kundi 11. 11 divided by 11 is 1 and 33 divided by 11 is 3. And 1 third will be the final answer. So again, how to add or subtract similar fractions? Okay, so add or subtract similar fractions, simply add kung addition or subtract from subtraction, the numerators, then copy the common denominator. Always reduce your final answer to its lowest term. Thank you, Teacher M. So, sana nakatulong ang video na to at kung nagustuhan nyo, huwag kalilimutan mag-like and comment. At kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, huwag kalilimutan mag-subscribe and click the bell button para lagi kayo updated sa mga ina-upload kong videos. So, sana abangan nyo yung susunod nating lesson tungkol sa addition and subtraction of dissimilar fractions. At ishare nyo na rin sa iba para naman makatulong din tayo para matulungan din natin sila na labanan ang takot nila pagdating sa fractions. Thank you, thank you for watching. Till my next video!